Well, the Ant Supply program was developed in 1998, so it's got a, got a um, good long history. Uh, and it's evolved o over the years, but what the Ant Supply program does for Winfield Solutions, it uh, helps us um, provide uh, a, a look at all the things that's available in the industry. So it's agronomic practices, it's technologies, it's genetics, it's crop protection products. That's all those things that we can we can put uh, in our answer plots. And maybe just a little background on answer plots. Um, going into 2011, we plan to have uh, uh, just over 180 answer plots across the United States. Plus, we have a few in Canada, and we also have some in Africa. What we do with uh, the answer plots in our trade territory, we're doing a couple of things. First off, it's a way that we can we can demonstrate different farming practices, different uh, again, different genetics, different technologies, uh, things that have are in the marketplace. But we're trying to make sure we help the producers and train the agronomists that work with producers, making sure that we're, that we're doing the right thing and we're analyzing and evaluating. And we spend a lot of time in, in the summertime bringing people out into these plots. They can, um, they can look at the plants, dig up the plants, cut the plants, evaluate it in that, as well as us discussing a lot of agronomic uh, different practices that are um, very sound uh, practices for the for the farmer, very sustainable type practices for the growers as well. So in the United States, we're uh, we're over we're involved in over 30 states across the United States and in those 182 locations. So in a lot of cases they're very localized where a farmer wouldn't have to travel more than uh, roughly 40 to 50 miles in a lot of the geographies that uh, that we're involved in today. And that's why we think it's so important um, uh, to look at the, the local value propositions locally, you know, uh, for their area. We want them to be sustainable, but uh, we want to make sure that farmers are using, uh, making good decisions, and we can demonstrate that, um, but we want to make sure there's not an overuse or an underuse, so we want to make sure that uh, we're getting the, the, the right return, but also making sure that uh, keep the stewardship and the sustainability in mind too in the answer plots as well so it's kind of a playground if you will we're trying to put the pieces of the puzzle together but it's a playground where we can we can look at that and then some of some of the, the as we look at the results and analyze the data and as well as the observation and how farmers then can take that home to their local area 40 50 miles away as an example how they can apply those techniques that we maybe had on in our answer farm on their own farm